for this error. Most people who run into this are running, you know, intensive, you know, resource intensive like applications. You know, they may have a uh, an older system, or you know, they've got a lot of resources being used up. Anything that's like really graphically intensive could throw this. Your system will pretty much freeze for a little bit and then throw the um, the error. So this one's kind of a weird one. You've got they kind of go hand in hand though. Video TDR failure is pretty much a timeout function. So basically, if your timeout function for your GPU like successfully like reinitializes, you'll see the uh, video TDR timeout detected failure. Uh, if not, you'll get the other one. You'll get the video TDR well failure. And a lot of the time, this gets thrown out is usually because of bad driver or you know your system can't handle a lot of applications open at the same time. It can also be due to like overclocking. So if you're uh, overclocking your system, you might have to reduce that to a manageable state. You know, it also could be like hardware. You know, your GPU might need to be updated. Older systems, they may not have really good thermal regulation. That could cause things to overheat, things to stop. Another thing that causes this error is not enough power. So if your power supply is going bad or, you know, it, the system's not getting the energy it needs, it could also throw this so you know if going back to the driver you can go to um, device manager so just right click device manager you know click on whatever you need properties expand it properties driver and then you can roll back the driver if it's grayed out obviously you're gonna have to uninstall uh, manually you know, if you're overclocking, uh, just disable it or adjust the config settings to not entirely blow up your system. If it's a compatibility issue, you're going to have to use reliability monitor. So you can do winr perfmon slash rel. Um, and this will show you all the events for a specific period of time. You'll see like a uh, little asterisk, or not asterisk, an yeah, exclamation point like a red X, so you can narrow down when that component failed. You know, if it's overheating, you can swap out thermal paste. You know, make sure, you know, your fan's plugged in to your motherboard. Make sure it's actually got good thermal regulation. If it's your power supply and you just like upgraded your graphics card, make sure it has enough power rated for that graphics card. You know, if it doesn't have enough power, obviously it's not gonna work very well. You know, if it's an older power supply, you might have to swap it out. Same with like batteries for laptops, uh, swap it out. You know, if it's, you know, another component like the actual graphics card itself, you might have to replace it. So you can do, go over to uh, do a system search for performance monitor. Let this open. Right. Go down to reports. Go down to system. System diagnostics. Right. And then it will give you more insight to what happened. Um, another thing you can do is the Windows uh, memory diagnostics. So you can do WinR. MDS, I think it's Chad, EXE. And then so once this pops up, this will restart. And then like once you come back into Windows, you'll see like a results window pop up. If you don't get that window popping up and go down to like event viewer. So once you're in uh, event viewer, uh, Windows logs, expand that, click on system and then you'll get this. And then so what you're gonna be looking for is a file called memory diagnostic. Another option you can do is use a tool called memtest. So you can do memtest86. This tool is pretty useful. This will give you more insight into the health of your memory and I highly recommend it.